Hey, hi all. In this video, we will discuss about uh, what is with sharing, without sharing, and inherited sharing keywords in Apex. So we use the with sharing keyword or without sharing keywords on a class to specify whether sharing rules must be enforced. So if you want to enforce the sharing rules of the user, then you have to use a with sharing keyword. If you if you want to run that particular class in the system mode or in system context, then you have to use without sharing keyword. Uh, when you are specifying the uh, or when you are making a class creating a class use the inherited sharing keyword on a class to run the class in the sharing mode of the class that called it so if you are calling a class from you know, if, if there are two classes for, for example class a and class b and uh, in class a we have we uh, we have specified the keyword with sharing and uh, in in class a one of the uh, one of one of the method is calling uh, class b uh, then that particular class B, uh, the the class B will also run in uh, with sharing mode. So that is inherited sharing. Sharing mode when to use with sharing. Use this mode as default unless your use case requires otherwise. Without sharing, use this mode with caution. Ensure that you don't inadvertently expose sensitive data and that would normally be hidden uh, by the sharing mode. So it means that if a user doesn't have access to that particular records, it should not be visible to that user. Then you have to use with sharing. So you have to be very careful with with uh, while using without sharing keyword uh, while specifying a class. Inherited sharing use this mode of service classes uh, that have to be flexible and support use cases with different sharing modes while also defaulting uh, to the more secure uh, to the more secure with sharing mode. With sharing keyword enforces sharing rules. Uh, with sharing keyword enforces the sharing uh, rules of the current user. Then, if absent, code run by default in system context. So, if you are not specifying whether it will be a with sharing or without sharing, then it will be a without sharing and it will run in system context. Use the with sharing keywords uh, when declaring a class to enforce the sharing rules that apply to the current user. So that is what already talked about. Use with sharing when the user has access to the records being updated via rule, sharing rules, sales team, any sort of sharing really. <coughs> so if the user will have access to the records, then only it will update. Anyhow, it can the access can be using uh, from the role hierarchy, from the sharing rules which we have set up from the sales team. So anything. So this is the keyword uh, with sharing when we are specifying or when we are creating a class. If it is with sharing, then all these things will apply. Otherwise, it will run in the system mode without sharing keyword. So ensure that the sharing rules of the current user are not enforced. It is running in system context like triggers. Use the without sharing keyword when declaring a class to ensure that the sharing rules of the current user are not enforced. For example, you may want to explicitly turn off sharing rule enforcement when a class requires sharing rules or acquires sharing rule when it is called from another class that is declared using with sharing. Without sharing is reserved for cases when the user does not have access to the records, but there is a need to update them based on the user input. So, it will not respect the sharing rules for that particular user. It will give uh, it. Uh, it will have access to all the data because it is running in the system context. And this is how we can specify a particular class without uh, use, or we can specify a class without sharing keyword. The next is inherited sharing keyword. You can specify the inherited sharing keyword on an Apex class which allows the class to run your Apex code with or without sharing settings depending on the class that called it. An Apex class with inherited sharing enables you to pass security review and ensure that your privileged Apex code is not used in unexpected or insecure ways. An Apex class with inherited sharing runs as with sharing when used as a visual force page, Apex REST service, or entry point to an Apex transaction. An Apex class with inherited sharing is being called from some other class which is having without sharing setting, then it will run 
in without sharing mode so for an example we have we have an fx class with inherited sharing is being called from some other class which is having without sharing setting so if we are calling a class and the class has without sharing keyword then the class which is called from that particular class will also run in without sharing mode example of a class with inherited sharing so for an example we have apex class the name of the apex class is inherited sharing class and the keyword is this inherited sharing then we have defined a list uh, the return type is list get all contact is the method name then we have returning select name from contact so all the contacts will be returned a list of contacts will be returned <coughs> Visual force page we have apex page controller is inherited sharing apex repeat value all contacts and then we are just printing the name of the records using the report uh, repeat element of uh, visual force. So in this uh, it will and uh, it will inherit the class and it will get all the uh, contacts which a user has access to because earlier we we have seen this right an apex class with inherited sharing runs as with sharing when used as visual force page so it will run as a with sharing so all the all the records on which a particular user has access that will be displayed in this here in the in the visual force page uh, so that's all for uh, the keywords which we have that is sharing uh, with sharing without sharing and inherited sharing uh, thank you have a nice day.